pretty sweet hit there. Yeah, that's perfect. Pretty good shot there. Hey guys, welcome back to JR Pro Shot Vids. Today we're reviewing the brand new Scorpion from Hammer. So this Scorpion right here is in the mid performance category. The Purple Hammer is also in the exact same category. So building off of that Purple Hammer reference, the core here in the Scorpion, the LED 2.0, is actually the same as the LED in the Purple Hammer, just with an outer core wrapped around it. So what this does is lowers the RG and also raises the differential. So today, Barks is gonna be out on the lanes, throwing it against the Raw Hammer and the Black Widow 2.0. So why do we choose these balls to throw it against the Scorpion? Well, we hope to see a really nice progression between the three. The Raw Hammer here is in the lower mid performance category. Like I said earlier, the Scorpion in the mid and the Black Widow 2.0 in the upper mid. So what we're hoping to see is that the Scorpion is right in the middle of these two in terms of hook and length. So today Barks is gonna be bowling on 42 foot carbon, 10 to one ratio, so the outside boards will be really dry. Maybe for once Barks won't play up five. Stay tuned to find out. So over the past couple weeks, Barks here has been throwing the raw hammer and he actually realized that he liked it better with a little bit more surface. So he hit this one with 2K so that it matches the surface on these two balls as well. So now we got a really good fair comparison and hopefully we can really tell the differences between each ball. That's enough for me, let's send it out to Barks on the lanes. Welcome back guys. This is the first of two new hammer balls, the new Hammer Scorpion. All right, so we're on the carbon oil pattern. It's 42 feet, lots of oil in the middle, lots of dry on the outside. I think for me to be successful, I gotta play in the oil a bit and really fling it out to the dry. Somewhere around six, seven board. Touch high on that one. Just wiggled the six pin there. So the new Scorpion here features the Semtex hybrid cover stock. It's been on the uh, Scandal S, it's been on the Dark Legend hybrid. So pretty strong cover. It's been on some higher end balls. It's interesting to see it on kind of a mid performance piece. That just shows how much more oil there is now versus 10 years ago. I'm gonna move a touch right. I'm gonna kick out that six pin this time. Pretty good shot there. It's a good amount of mid lane, but it does scoot through the front a little bit. Problem I had with the previous balls in this line, the Fugitive, the Fugitive Solid, the covers weren't quite strong enough. They wanted to get through the fronts too much, and they're a little unpredictable in the back end. The sanded finish, a little lower uh, differential. It's a little more controllable shape. It's a shape that I like to see. I think I go a little bit further and get my hand around it a bit. Get it to corner a bit harder. That's a really solid look right there. Good amount of mid lane, but it stores enough energy that it wants to round the corner and kick out the uh, seven pin hard there. I'm gonna make a little ball change here. I'm gonna ball up to the Black Widow 2.0. Now this ball gets down the lane pretty good for a solid with a sanded surface on it. I still am gonna have to move a little bit right, but I think you'll see a similar shape, just a little bit more overall. Yeah, that's a lot more hook overall. So I moved about five right on that shot. I'm gonna have to move at least a couple more to hit the pocket. Standing on 34, gonna cross at about 15 at the arrows. Really similar shape, but just a stronger ball overall. Still gets through the fronts okay, rounds the corner hard, just a little bit more hook. So there's not many hybrid balls in the hammer line. We had a hard time picking out which balls to do for this review. So we're gonna ball down now to the raw hammer hybrid. So to kind of keep this fair, I took the shine off of it. I put the same surface as what's on the Scorpion. So I think that gives us the fairest possible comparison. All right, so I'm gonna start in the same place that I was with the Scorpion, starting on 27. I think this will go further down the lane and corner a bit harder. It really floated through the front. 
and it wasn't very violent off the back end. Really tame. Let's throw another shot there. So the core numbers between the Scorpion and the Raw Hammer, pretty similar. This is a little bit lower differential on the Raw Hammer and a little weaker cover stock as well. So we're gonna get a little bit more length through the front and a little tamer reaction down lane. The last one's in the oil bit, I wanna get this one left. Pretty sweet hit there. That last shot was a little short of the pocket. Messenger carried the 710, but I think to score effectively with this ball, I need to be a little bit further left. So I'm gonna move my feet to left, play a little bit straighter. Yeah, that's perfect. All right, question time with Barks. Now, I think this is a type of ball that I'm really gonna like on house shots to really blend them out. Now, what's your favorite ball to bowl with on a house shot? Let me know in the comments section below. So now we're lined up with the raw hammer. Let's go back to the scorpion on the same line. See how much stronger it is. I think this will go right through the face. Greek church. Well, there you go. Now you can see there's a lot of difference. Even though it's very minimal as far as performance levels, it's a lot different on lane. Let's move about five right off of that Greek church. This should pack it. And we'll send it back to the shop on that one. Baby. Yeah, let's send it back to the shop. All right, I'm back from the lanes. We bowled on 42 foot carbon. As far as ball reaction on the house shot, I definitely liked what I saw out of the Scorpion versus the Black Widow or the Raw Hammer. So for the Black Widow 2.0, I had to move way right and really open my angles up because it was just hooking so much on that pattern. It's not that I can't play that line, it's just not a line I'm really comfortable playing. And the opposite was kind of true with the Raw Hammer Hybrid. Even though we sanded it to the same surface, I wasn't really able to take advantage of how open the pattern was and how scorable it was. But I felt like the new Scorpion here really fit right in between, gave me enough length through the front and a tame but strong reaction down lane. I could get it a little bit in the oil and it'd be strong enough to dig in and round the corner the way I want to see it. And if I got it too far to the outside, too quick to the dry, it didn't overreact. It was really smooth and it gave me a nice shape down lane. So I think if I'm bowling on a pattern that's that clift, meaning that much oil in the middle, that dry on the outside, Scorpion's gonna be a really good ball for me. I don't think it makes a six ball arsenal, however. The reason being is the balls that I have in that six ball arsenal, they're set. They're the ones I really gravitate towards. It takes a really, really good ball to kind of slip into there and knock something else out. So as far as bowling on house shots, this new Scorpion's really gonna help me blend out the pattern and shoot a lot of high scores. As far as who would I recommend it for, I would say bowlers with sort of slower to medium ball speed. It is a high RG ball. It does want to get down the lane a little bit further than some of the other balls in the lineup. If you have higher ball speed, I think you'll want to gravitate towards a ball like the Black Widow 2.0. It's a stronger core, it's a stronger cover. You're gonna see a lot more overall hook. Now don't forget to leave a comment below. Please let me know, what's your favorite ball to use on a house pattern? All right, so stay tuned for the next video. It's me again with the Web Pearl re-release.